Overseas, tens of thousands of people took to the streets today in Greece, supporters and opponents of a referendum this Sunday on how the country should deal with its crippling financial crisis. It's a matter of growing concern across Europe and here in the U.S. We get the latest from NBC's Keir Simmons in Athens. Greeks are divided and angry. There were clashes with police tonight and opposing protests just blocks apart. Polls say Greeks are evenly split and in less than 48 hours they will vote on their very future, yes or no, to Europe. Do you believe there will be a no vote on Sunday, Prime Minister? The Greek Prime Minister emerged from Athens' equivalent of the White House to urge his people to vote no to harsh new austerity measures, what he calls Europe's blackmail. The Greek Prime Minister is literally walking up into crowds of thousands. This is the man who is gambling with the future of his country, perhaps the future of Europe. But it may be too late. Jobs scarce, banks closed, long lines at ATMs. In Thessalonica, an elderly man broke down, waiting for money. Greece is strapped for cash and owes billions. Without money, the country will soon struggle to import essential goods. You're lacking baby food? Baby food, yes. like this here, the, yes. the milk. This pharmacist says Greeks are already stockpiling basics like painkillers. Some now fear a 1930s-style depression is inevitable. American missionaries Leila Tulik from Hawaii and Natalie Black from Arizona have come to Greece to work in a soup kitchen. Greece needs help. We think people in the U.S. don't have jobs. These people really don't have jobs. Greeks are divided, their economy is in pieces, and the suffering will not end Sunday, however they vote. Tonight, the Greek finance minister says his country is preparing for the worst, stockpiling food, medicine and energy supplies. The crisis is now reaching critical mass, threatening the well-being of this strategically important country and the dream of a unified Europe. Tamron? All right, Keir, thank you very much.